Hello and welcome to Volpargen, a map in our new series, new map day one, or first day, and the map is by AE Modding, 172.69 megabytes to download. You do need the Platinum expansion to play this map, um, and I can see a reason why straight away that that farmhouse looks very familiar to the Platinum expansion. So there's certain buildings obviously been used. Let's have a quick look where we are on the PDA. We are up here. There's our house there. Vehicles showing up there. The rest of the map is Pretty much squarish fields. Let's see what we have. So we have area one and area seven. Area one has field one in it. And this looks like some sort of meadow or something. And then Area 7, which is from that river there, forms the boundary and has no fields in it, so it looks like all meadow. Let's have a quick look at pricing of fields. Uh, so, number 2 would be the obvious next one to buy. That's a huge field. Well, we're not going to do that on day one. 1.3 million to buy. Field three is 2 million, just over 2 million. 11, that's another 2 million. Some of the smaller fields, 14, 700,000. A forestry area, 600,000. It's obviously the town area. This might be of interest as well when we're down at the bottom here. It's 500,000, so a little bit less expensive. That's 1.8. Another smallish field compared to the rest. 449, so that looks like the cheapest. Can't see this being any cheaper. Yeah, no, it's not. Can we buy the outsides? No, we can't buy the periphery at all. In any case, let's get back to the farm and let's have a quick look around. Open the gates. Sleep trigger up front here. Pretty standard. We do have a van. We'll have a look at the equipment as we go around. Right, let's have a look and see. Looks like a huge, huge farm. And in this first huge shed we have a John Deere, let's have a quick look around. John Deere 8R, it's a nice big John Deere there. We'll have a look at the horsepowers in the moment. But that's pretty high, it's in the 400s that one I think. Cultivator, plow, some nice big machinery for the fields of course. Uh, I'm going to say that's a roller. Yeah, it does look like a roller. Square baler. We've got the centre weeder or fertiliser, liquid weeder or fertiliser, solid fertiliser and lime spreader. That's a nice bit of starting equipment. Right, let's go and see what's in the other sheds. Have a quick look around. Oh, 
got nice huge storage areas there. So we've got fuel, we've got, uh, I think this is seed and mineral, seed and mineral feed, yeah. Um, this is probably liquid fertilizer. Yep. Of course, you can buy different amounts. That's nice. We won't buy anything right now. Not quite sure how far we'll get. Huge, huge storage areas. Look at the size of these things. Fantastic. You're not going to want for, for storage, let's put it that way. Right. What have we got behind here? Well, that's for your liquid, uh, your solid fertilizers. Water. Nice big silo system. Way bridge, I presume. Indeed. So you can weigh it in and out. What have we got behind here? Is that uh, that's still part of the silage system? Another huge open shed. Let's go have a look and see what we've got in here. Some weight. Bit of a land train. With the class axion 960 on the front. It's also got a, a fair bit of grunt. You can add a third trailer onto that land train. Looks good. So we don't lack for storage space for either vehicles or possibly root crops, that type of thing. There's another huge bit of storage area. What do we have here? Oh, three nice grain trailers. Just get the yeah, so we'll check that up in a little bit more detail, see what the capacities are. I think those are sort of between twenty five and thirty odd thirty four, thirty five thousand liters. They don't connect up do they? No, it doesn't look like it. Yes, it you wouldn't really make land trains with uh, with fixed hitches. So let's get up there and have a look at the last barn, I think it is. And that's an enclosed one, so I presume there'll be more equipment in there. That's this lovely big, big barn over here. Jump out. Let's put a torch on. Uh, this is no no entrance on this side besides small doors. Uh, let's go in this one because I think I think if I remember this barn correctly, this goes into a workshop. Yeah, it does indeed. And we've got a nice fente. Which one is it? Uh, 942 Vivario. Vario, not Vivario. Vario. Yep, that works out quite nicely. Needs a small, small repair, but it's not worth doing at this point in time. Oh, look at this. A smorgasbord of tractors. <laughs> oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five tractors. And they all are fa fairly big size. They all look like in, they are in the large tractor category. 
So I would imagine something from 350 horsepower right up to 420-ish or so. Case Magnum looks brilliant. Another fence. So we've got three fence now. We know we've got three John Deere's so far. And we've got the New Holland on the land train. Fantastic. Nice big New Holland harvester. That's right up there with the big size, the big boys, this one. Twin rotor, the Revelation. Fantastic. And it's probably the Draper. New Holland uh, Draper, yeah, 45 foot, so that's going to harvest nice and quickly. And plenty of doors. Nice big storage shed. Get a couple, couple more machines in here. That brings us pretty much back to our house. I think, yeah, nothing more along the side there. So, a huge farmland. So let's go and have a look and see what fields we got. So. I think if we go behind the farmyard we've got a looks like a wheat field or a barley field or something like that that looks ready to harvest I think this is ours indeed it is needs all sorts of things I would imagine it's not fertilized so 38% there it's a huge field and we have furniture within within the middle the midst of it so to speak looks like telephone poles So there's little islands around it. It's going to play havoc with uh, normal workers. Should be okay for for crossplay. Like the little detail on the poles where people stop people climbing up the poles. Yeah. So that uh, does mean you can't use normal workers, but that's probably just another. Another way of encouraging people to use mul multiplayer or crossplay on this. And as soon as you own a new farmer mode, you own both uh, both uh, both big farms that are in the, on you. I think it's the. I think there are three farms. But yeah, so we own this arable farm, and then a. Um, a husbandry farm is what I'd call it. Oh, it's a bit of a forest over there. Do we own that piece of land? We don't know. I don't think so. Uh, let's have a look and see. Um, we might own part of that. We're just outside of that now. I think we've just come off this road. Yes, we don't own the whole area. But I don't think you can buy this forestry land, so I don't think you can cut that down. Let's have a look, quick look again. Oh, no, you can. There's another little forestry area. I wonder how much that costs. 210,000 so that could be bought if you wanted to do a bit of forestry I don't know when you're going to find time to do forestry on this map by the looks of things feels so so big so if we head on down this way we should get into what is a meadow I think that we own this Let's just have a look and see again. 
yeah we definitely we definitely own that so that's a nice big cross meadow fantastic well what we'll do now is we'll get the let's go and get the harvester out we'll get the harvester going on the on the wheat field bit of a rock there and um, do we own this field I don't think so sunflower no Josiah Sanford uh, let's just get back around here there we go We'll just park up outside our house and we'll nip into the into the shed here and we'll pick up the harvester. We'll get that started. We'll put a worker onto it and oh, wrong wrong one. They parked so close together. We we'll have to make sure we get into the right vehicles. So hook up the header and tow it out to the field. That's what I like about this draper is that it's got its own built-in trailer. Fantastic. Yeah, so we're not short of good equipment here. Um, I'm thinking that he's probably not going to have to buy equipment at all certainly in the short term of this game and of course once again the, um, the fact that you have so many different tractors means you can have a lot of different people doing different jobs so that's fantastic good, a good bit of forethought if like me you tend to play these games uh, solo um, this means you can get quite a few workers going as well though we'll just have to keep an eye on the fields and see whether there are other obstacles in the in the fields that we have about the map we'll just keep as we do our little trip around so we'll harvest this so we can get some some grain and we'll do some deliveries and we'll see where, where they go to uh, let's unfold the header and We'll unfold the harvester. And we'll just start around about here, I think. Turn on the harvester. And we'll just do a little bit of a headland. back a little bit so you can see how we go where we go let's get the swath enabling on so we might as well make some straw we'll do this on a little bit of a time lapse and we'll catch you once we've done a, a headland
right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of divide this field into two. Just so that I can make it easier for our, our workers to work the fields. Well, we just about got a full load, so we're going to be need to go and get. I think we'll get the land train going and come and collect the grain that we have in here. Let's get the pipe out. I don't think we need more than just the two trailers. Pretty sure we'll get it all into this one. Trailer. There we go. Let's get back into the harvester and then we will finish with the headlands and then we'll get a little work on, see how it goes. Let's pipe in. And let's get going again. There'll pl be plenty of straw to collect. I didn't see in our little trip around there, maybe on the other farm, a um, bale loader or any bale loading equipment, but that may be on the other farm, which when I looked on the PDA just indicated really that it would be a, a husbandry farm, so I think there's quite a few animals there. Let me take that on there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and set the work off down at the bottom there and let it work its way up the field. That should then pretty much divide the field into two. I mean, not quite half, but the worker on the go. Not quite sure if this is going to work going down this way. It might. Wonder if it'll be better. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and go down to the bottom end and try and get it on the right axis. Just trying to create a bit of time so we can go and have a look at the other farm. Of course when you if you were playing this you would uh, most probably complete this job or I would say get this onto a um, onto a worker or get some some people to help out or something along those lines I 
this is what we'll do, is we'll get it going along here. Hopefully there's enough room for it to turn and such like. That should be about right. Let's see how it goes. No, that's not working. We'll come and fix that up at a later stage, I think. It's creating a little bit of problems that it shouldn't really be creating for me. <laughs> in any event, that's just me. Well, we'll get back into the, into the car and we'll nip on down to the other farm. So we're looking to get down to the bottom left hand corner, so let's just get the map up so you can see where we're going. So I think if we head down the bottom here, turn right, and then down until we reach the main road. One thing I do like about this map so far We'll see if that applies to the new farm as well, is that the farm is not sitting, the farmstead or the farmyard is not sitting right on the road. So you've got a bit of a track to travel through, oops, a bit of a rock in the road there. Not quite in the road, but needs to be noticed. As I was saying, yes, yeah, so it's a little way back to the main roads. And if I look at the, the farm that we're going to, that also looks like it's a little ways off the main road. And I like that. I like the fact that you have to travel through some of your fields or other people's fields to get to your farmyard. Fantastic. Whoops. The map is very flat so far. Whoa we go down there, being a bit too fast. Luckily there's not too many traffic cops around here. Yeah? Yeah, so busy, Let's just stop here quickly. Um, yeah, we own that piece of land. And we own that here. So we're pretty much driving through our meadow to get down to We should be able to see it down at the bottom there, but um, yeah, to get down to the farmyard. As I said, when I was looking at it on the PDA, it did show that these were animal sheds down here, or enclosures. And straight away we can see chickens. 360 chickens. So some of that we could possibly go into the chickens, but we won't do that in this first day look through. What we'll do is we'll we'll deliver those wheat to various different places. So this looks like sheep. Let's have a look and see how many sheep we get in there. 65. Keep you out of mischief. And in a bit of wool. And it's probably pigs in the next one by the looks of things. These look like fairly standard animal enclosures. But we know that they work well. 170 pigs. So there's a lot of a lot of husbandry around here as well, so yeah. There's a lot of work to be done to be able to run the farm as it is. Slurry going down there. Uh, manure, I would say. 
silage camp of course there's all this grass that we can get out of the meadows uh, storage space a cattle with a cow barn with a mechanical feeder that's nice all very very modern equipment yeah not too much held together with bathing twine here yeah, that's for sure just have a quick look and see what if there's anything in the shed here huge huge shed plenty of space for more machinery haven't seen any other machinery on this this map yet but well, actually I can I can see it through the glass in this almost display shed I suppose you would call it oops opens outwards We've got some more weights a muck spreader or a slurry spreader very nice big equipment and a forage harvester it's just a nice big trailer isn't it That could be a um, manure spreader. Forage harvester. It's all really big equipment. We've got very big mower. Not my favorite mower, but uh, it works very well. We've got the New Holland T7 and I've got a Messi and a 670 both of those have got animal working well front loaders on so pretty good for the animal work this looks like one of the and can chop up sugar beet as well anything upstairs I don't know where they can get into these rooms they empty that uh -huh. just office space Right, that's the uh, the animal farm. So let's go and have a look and see how how grain harvest is going. Now, besides that little slither up there, that's actually working quite well. We'll just jump out of there and we'll just trot on down and go and pick up the. The what was on the front of that was it a New Holland as well on the front of the land train I think it was a New Holland so many tractors I'm losing track track I'm losing I'm losing tractor I'm losing track of the tractors <laughs> oh dear so we do have that forage harvester down at the um, at the bottom farm so we could bring that up here to collect the straw put it into the uh, into the cattle shed the pig shed but I don't think we'll have enough time today to do all that type of work uh, it was a class on you not in not in New Holland So 
So we have heaps of tractors, all of fairly substantial horsepower, although the horsepower on the um, on the tractors down at the husbandry farm are a bit smaller, but generally you'd need a slightly smaller, although I'm worried about the big um, muck spreader and silage spreader with it. It's actually got enough um, enough horsepower down there to work those, but we'll find out. Fantastic. Works well. It does seem to be turning. Though we'll see now because whether that um, one headland is enough turning space for the harvester. So let's leave that to get going and then we'll start filling up the second one of the land train in a minute or three. What I'm going to do is I'm going to nip on back down to the, to the other farm and I'm going to get the where are we there we go I'm going to get the mower out and I'm going to go and start mowing the edges of the meadow that we have around this field just to see how big it is and then the grass that we get from there we will collect with the forage harvester and we will put into We'll put it into the sheep pen, get the sheep going. I think this New Holland will be able to handle this. Let's just have a quick look at the horsepower of our, of our tractors that we have. So the medium tractors. So these are the ones that we have down at the husbandry section. So the New Holland is 313. The John Deere uh, 6250R is a 300 horsepower and 305 on the Massey. So yeah, they're not small. They should be able to handle most of that equipment. Um, what, what does the slurry tank need? 225, yes, it'll handle that. The manure spreader, 265, it'll handle that. Uh, the other thing that we had down there was the forage wagon. And the forage wagon needs 200, yep. Yeah. Tractors, perfect for the jobs. On the husbandry farm, so let's have a look at the large tractors on the arable farm. Yeah, so the eight are yeah, plenty of horsepower there to pull just about anything. As with the case, 415 on the Fent. Class 445, plenty of horsepower. 385 on the uh, 939 Vivaria. So we can use that on the trailers. Um, 388, that'll pull just about anything as well. The 930, it's also really a trailer tractor. And 305 is probably also a trailer tractor for there. What did we have? We had the class 960 on the on the land train. It seems to be a bit heavy uh, horsepower wise for the land train, but yeah, still while we're here, we can have a quick look around it. If we didn't look, this is whether that so that needs 250. Plus 95, 340. If you add, the, if they add those two together, but I think it'll work. On here, it comes to more horsepower than is required by this, or that that we have in the New Holland. But I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. 
let's just cut through here and we'll start yeah we'll do the meadows just sort of inside the tree line a lot of these fields are lined with trees but what I do like is that um, is that they're not really close to the actual fields so this is meadows so I'm going to presume that these are not fields so that can take workers so even more reason why you should be getting your mates in to help you with um, with running this this farm you can be the overseer as such so to speak <laughs> slow the front mower and get it started and Go lower the back mower, lower the back one. Ba 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 ba. Lower the back mower and get it started. Right, we'll get going on this. Is the front part mowing? Yes, it is. We'll have to bring the windrower down. Well, I think we can swath this. Toggle work mode. Swath dropping. There we go. Yeah, that's that's the, the really good thing. So there is a what looks like a field. So I suppose you could square this off in various ways to use workers. I'll just we'll just look back and you can see the edge of the field there yeah so workers will work on here and by deduction from that I would say that crossplay would work on these meadows so there shouldn't be a need to recreate a field except if you want to push up the the yields for this area it doesn't show as fields on the PDA or field numbers so yeah there's options there's options there's options if you don't want to use this as a cross plane map but I think it does lend itself very very well to being a crossplay map. Right, we will do this on a time lapse until we've done our first lap, so to speak. And that'll give us an indication of how big this field is. And I've got a feeling it's pretty big. See you when it's done. Oh, we're done already. Let's have a look and see where we've been on that got a feeling that's just the one side we'll do another lap down here and uh, so we haven't done we've just gone around the back of the farm so to speak what's this so to speak all of a sudden <laughs> so we haven't done this front Front field yet. So it looks like that was a lap around the the yard. What we'll do is when we get to the road, we will. Uh, oh, we nearly full on grain again. Put this onto a time lapse until we are around this front part of the field.
Right, we're coming to the end of the lap. So we did a little circle around the farm to start with and then we kind of left the outside of the field and it's vast. This is definitely a map that you're going to need help with. So either workers, so you'll have to divide fields up so you can use normal workers efficiently. Or I think the best way to do it is to get a whole lot of mates together and you can be the boss and you can get everybody to work to work on on both farms fantastic yeah so very very sociable map i would say and plenty of equipment to be able to do it right, so what we'll do now is we know we've got a full tank of grain we will tab over to the oh, it has decided to do it hasn't quite worked out the way i thought it was going to work out in any event we'll get another full tank of grain out of this so we'll have to just dismiss the worker best laid pans did not work Seems to have started to work on the bottom field. But it's left a lot of a lot of work to be done. So that's just another point to show you that you would need to work out quite carefully how you're going to work these fields if you're not going to be use, utilizing. other players basically so where, where have I parked that now down there we'll do it a lap let's just get onto the back trailer and open the cover put this in the back trailer and then we could go and try and put this into the silos up here and then we'll, from there we will try and deliver to a couple of different places on the map so that we can go and have a look and see where they are. Then we'll head on back down to the grass field and go and do a bit of forage collection there on the grass and get some sheep going. I've missed it completely. Not covering myself in glory once again in terms of my tractor driving capabilities. Slow down, that's what you need to do. Just slow down and work it out. It should... There we go. We'll put, we'll put this load into the back. And we'll go to... We'll put this into the silos on the farm. And as I said, we'll just split it up between two or three deliveries to different places and hopefully we'll be able to get to see a little bit more of the map as we drive around to do the deliveries. So we've got 43,000 litres in total. We'll just scoot on up to the farm. carefully drive through here. Come in from the top side. We'll have to just see... Um, I think what we'll do is we'll do some side tipping on this because of the... the roof of this. So 
uh, tip side back, bend door, left side, oh, left side will do, so it's on the back one, and on the front one, we'll do tip side back, bend door, left. Right, so the offloading trigger point should be here. Can't see any trigger point. Well, it's not triggering, let's put it this way. Let's switch to the back one. No. Let's see if we go in from this side. Oh, let's switch back to the front one. No trigger point coming up. And let's try the back. Maybe it has to go out the back. I don't think that should affect it, but um, go to the front one and Tip side right back, tip side back, and see if it triggers anything. Nope, nothing. Nothing there at all. We're going to have to check check them all out. So we'll have to go tip side right now. So let's go to the front one again and tip side back. Well, let's do grain door first and see what happens. back one and rain door no, no trigger point coming up All right so the last one we can do is tip side right Tip side right, see if that works. I think we'll also have to test this on another trailer. So we'll have to do some more harvesting. Uh, tip side right is not coming up. Nothing there. Side right. Nothing there. Right, so what we'll do is we'll go and we'll go and deliver this to one of the sail points and see if if the trigger points work there. Um where are we now? See where we can sell this. 
It's not the right place. There we go. So we've got wheat, grain mill, 794. Did they just change? No, that's barley. <laughs> Nothing wrong. Um, 821 grain feed south, 49. So I think these two are quite close together. So let's go to the grain mill first, and then we'll go to Johnson's Farmer's Market. Uh, let's tag that. And can have a quick look. It's behind us there somewhere. So let's call up the map. And there it is on the top left hand side you can see it flashing so it's out the farm left left and right left left and then right by the looks of things in any case we'll keep the map up so that you can see where we go Go out past the house. Oh, something I didn't notice. Have a look at this. Oh. Another show that this map is made for multiplayer. You can have at least three machines cleaning at the same time. Fantastic. Love it. I think this map would be brilliant. Looks like it's set up to be nice and sociable. It, it's nice, flat, big areas for people to drive around without bumping into each other. Really good for that. The botch job that we're making with this wheat field. What did we say? We've got to go left here. We went right to go down to the husbandry farm. Coming up to a bridge just over the river. And there's what looks like some sort of production or sale point. Let's go and have a look quickly and see what it is. Let's put on the interactive markers so we can have a look and see. Sawmill. That's it. Nice, nice sawmill. Sell wood. Yep. Yeah. Bit of farmhouse or so, a sawmiller's house, place to park his van. More sawmill stuff down here. Guessing we could sell wood down here as well. Buy a production point. So you can purchase that sawmill, and that's good. Wonder if you can get into this, I doubt it. No. Yep, nice bit of nice bit of action going on here. Once again, lovely, lovely big expansive area so that you can move around quite freely if you're doing multiplayer on this map. Just another reason why you should do multiplayer on this map. <laughs> and away we go. We will get to where we're going. Where were we going? We are going to the grain mill, aren't we? So I think when we hit the T junction here, we're going to go right.
Yep, we're getting right here. Not exactly a main road, but still. I think to the left at the top there is the farmer's market that we'll be going to deliver the back trailer to. The front trailer is going into the into the grain mill. We'll go and do that first. Go left here. Oh. We'll hit one of the main roads. So I just want to stop here quickly. Just jump out. So we can see a lot of a lot of pylons and telephone. And telephone um, systems going through the fields and I have noticed that in quite a few fields and I think that is to well what it does lead to is it makes it a little bit more difficult for for workers as we've seen in the wheat field that we started harvesting when I tried to use just plain workers so I think for this map definitely Multiplay, get your mates in to come and help you work with us. Oops, train fuel station just to the right there. Yeah, or of course, if you're on PC, I think you'll need to um, to use course play on a lot of these fields. But I think unashamedly this is a multiplayer map and I have no problem with that whatsoever. Just got to try and negotiate our way through here. Well, we've gone too far. Go. I'm not sure which where I left the where I left the tip sides back front left or right. Uh, let's just go and have a look. Tip side right. I think we'll go tip side left. Yep, yeah, that'll make more sense. Quite a little incline coming up to that, which is a little bit surprising considering everything else has been so fat, fat, <laughs> so flat. <laughs> oh dear. Right, here we go. Let's see how much we make out of this lot. While that's on loading, let's have a quick look around. Milling group, so this is the grain mill. I don't think it's purchasable. I can't see a purchase icon anywhere. Oh, there it is there. Ninety six thousand, pretty standard. Ah, oh, I went and bought it. Didn't mean to do that. In any case, it's done. We own the grain mill. <laughs> oh dear. We've still got sixteen grand. Oh, it still hasn't finished. Probably because I jumped out. I thought it was going to continue delivering. And it's continued delivering. That's only going to bring us in more money. So cannot complain about that. I 
Well, it's not going to bring us any more money because we've now delivered to ourselves. Oh dear, dear, dear. In any case, that's got nothing to do with the map, that's just me. Oh, we can't go down there. Well, I suppose we could go down there, but we'll go back. Back up here. And we may as well get the production going. I wasn't really intending to buy a production unit. But why not? Why not indeed? So we've got 29,000 litres of wheat in there. We'll activate some wheat flour. It's activated. We'll de deactivate everything else. And there we go. Right, so let's head on to Johnson's Farmer's Market, which is just down the drag from here. And we'll deliver the back trailer to there. What we will do is we'll just, as we come out here, we'll just have a look at what else is around here. Just got to get this trailer out. This long train. So let's have a look and see what we've got here. Transport. Don't think that I think this is just decorative by the looks of things. Can't see any any sail points or anything along those lines there. No, nothing there. Down here. Anything at the back yet? Tire centre. Some nice little details in here. American Parcel Logistics. Yeah, these are all just um, decorative, but yeah, nice. More tire, more houses. Just duck through here. American flag. It's at somebody's house. Observation post for the forest area, I suppose. We'll just go and have a look and see what's across the road there as well as we head back. the side yet. Let's a quick look and see what we have here. There was a signpost. Livestock auction. New buyers, please register at the office. All livestock must be paid for within 24 hours. <laughs> Good stuff. I like those little little quirks yeah so livestock trailer of course fantastic anything down behind here yeah great stuff so now we know where the livestock tra uh, trader is Larsons. So let's head on back to the to Johnson's Farmers Market and go and deliver some more grain there. Oops, coming out. Watch out, land train on the go. Do we have? Oh. And we need to go back down here. Oops! I think we just crashed into somebody. 
behind us. Should have got out of the way when he saw my reverse lights come on. <laughs> right, Johnson's coming up here. Straight ahead. Still, just see how flat those fields are. Fresh produce, that's what we like. Farmers always like to sell, in, sell their product as fresh as possible. Well, most farmers. <laughs> And we need to go to the back one. Right, right. Oh, we're not on the... There we go. Oh, I thought I'd put it upside right, upside back. It's not too bad. <laughs> we'll deal with it. Oh, we'll deal with it. <laughs> we'll accept that. Right, let's get back down to the farm now. And then we'll just nip on down to the livestock area. And we will uh, go and just collect some of the grass that we mowed, put it into a sheep pen and get some sheep going. I think we've covered most of the areas. The, there's the little, there is the um, sort of town area that we need to go and have a look at as well. I think we'll look at that on the way back down to the farm. I think I'm going the right way. I'm going to find out pretty soon. We should be heading up for the sawmill area. The sawmill will go left. Cross the bridge and we should come out to the farm. Do a bit of in cab driving on the way back. So wheat field, we will leave that as it is for now. Of course, in the normal scheme of things, we would bring all that wheat in. It's bringing some good money. And I suppose we would normally put it into the silos, but sadly the silo is not taking any wheat for some, cha for some reason. I don't know if it's going to take anything else, but not working at this point in time. Right here. Switch that off and get out here. I'm not sure where my van is. Let's see if we can. No, it's still down at the. Before we collect the grass, I'm going to just. Let's just get up the. I just want to go and have a look at the little town area. Oh. 
what's across the road there. Let's just go and see what's down there quickly and then we'll come and do the grass and we'll call it today on this map. This should take us straight into the town area. I'm presuming this is Wolfhagen or Wolfhagen. Main road coming down here. Whoops. Right, what do we have here? This is the oil mill. Anything behind you? Oh, so these are the productions. Three productions, I think you said had on there. So, oil mill, sugar mill for sugar beet, I presume. And Glenwood sugar mill. Strange name for this area, and that is the spinnery. Good stuff. Of course, this map is flat, so you can pretty much build anything anywhere. What do we have here? Cody's toy store. Wondering if there are collectibles on the map. I haven't seen any. There might be. Haven't really been looking for them though. Yeah, the same as the top area. The the decor the, the, the decorations on the map are fantastic. They've been well worked. They make it interesting just to look around. So, on the whole, a very well-made map. Right, let's get back to our van and go and collect that grass, get some sheep going, and then we will uh, wrap it up. need the map anymore. Oh! <laughs> How many accidents have I had yet? Three? Four? Who knows? the river and just after the river we should oh there we go missed the turn hidden behind the tree <laughs> that's my excuse so we didn't even mow this top area here so we missed out a whole section There's that whole little top area there that we haven't even mowed. Right, get one of the other tractors out and get the forage harvester. Let's use something green, uh, green, something here. Yeah. Red. I think it should have enough power to pull this forage harvester. In the event we have a lot of uh, 
extra tractors up at the other farm that we could always bring down if we need. If we need a bit more Vuma down here. But I think this will work. We'll just collect one uh, one load. We'll bring it back to the sheep here. Start on the inside track because I know that goes the long way around just for fun. There we go. Not sure how much this takes, probably about 40,000 liters or so. A bit more, 47,000 litres is what I'm going to say. I think the little Massey is at its limit. Maybe if, if we just lift it up a little bit. Could have been slowing itself down. Yeah, it's still getting to the top end, but yeah, might be just about at its limit pulling this along. Not too much of a problem though. I think while we're doing this, I'm going to do a bit of the wrap up and conclusion to the map. This map does what it says on the box basically. It is a map designed for crossplay. I feel that it will work best as a crossplay map with some friends to help you farm your farm. That's not to say that it can't be played as a solo operation. You will just have to manage your fields accordingly so that you can use workers or maybe start small on the map. The problem is that the fields are very expensive. So if you do go into farm manager mode, it would be recommended that you buy one of the small fields. Well, I would recommend, let's put it that way, that you buy one of the small fields and start from there. The mapping itself, the map itself, I personally find it a little bit too flat. Like to have see, like to have seen more undulations as such on the fields. The farmyards are very big, but I understand that's probably to accommodate the. the um, the need for um, for creating space for crossplay and working area so that you can get quite a few people in and working in the same area without creating too many problems. Is that going to go? Why is that not off? Hmm. Go this way. I don't think we have to buy these. Put a couple of sheep in there. The sheep take grass. Uh, 
Um, we'll buy. Buy ten. Just to get started. Expire. There we go. Oh, we're not on the trailer, that's why. Oh dear. There we go. Should hit a trigger here somewhere. Oh dear, stop. So that's not the best piece of equipment for offloading that way. Let's see what we can do this way. I forgot this is a tipper, not a... I thought it would be a, a push thing, but it's not. I think it'll be better down or floating this way. Still not really. It might be cool. It may well be full. Let's have a look. At the... Yeah, it is full. Full to capacity. We're going to put this into the silage clamp. Where was that? There it is there. I do prefer bales in any event for sheep um, because you can stack them outside at the, in the offloading area and they can just keep filling up for oops A nice pile there. Yeah, that's the way I thought it would offload. Why does it not offload like that? Oh, it it was the um, the tailgate that was creating the problem, not the tipper. My bad again. No problem. In any case, that's the sheep going. I've kind of enjoyed this map. Hope you've enjoyed watching this little work around for the first day. We are ending a little bit early. We could possibly do other work on here, but I think we've got around the map. I think you've got the gist of it. Do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.